the Infragistix WebExcel exporter is a component that works together with the Infragistix Excel library to walk through the web grid, the web data grid, and the web hierarchical data grid. And it takes the data within these grids and dumps it into an Excel file while firing many events that you can handle in order to further customize the exporting process. In this sample, we get to experiment to see how this works. So as you can see, some of the property settings allow you to set the type of format you wish the Excel file to be. Also, if you have paging or load on demand enabled on your grid controls, you can specify whether you want to export only the data that is currently loaded on the client side, or if you want to just export all of the data that is connected to the data source. In this example, we have two separate grids that are being exported into one Excel file. Notice that we have one grid that has several parent rows as well as each parent row has child rows, therefore creating a hierarchy. And also notice that we have a second grid with one parent row and several child records in the hierarchy as well. Just make a note of what this looks like within the grid itself, because one of the things that Infragistics does really great is export our hierarchical grids. Even if you have a flat grid with Outlook Group I enabled, you're able to export that and get the same view and interaction in your Excel file. The other thing we can do is create some summaries. So if I add a summary here, just load it up with all of the built-in summary capabilities, that will get exported too. So I click on the export button, and by default, the Web Excel exporter will create an Excel file and dump it into the response stream. Now there are a lot of records that we're exporting here, so it took a couple of seconds. So I could either save this file to my hard drive or open it, which actually does save it to the temporary directory. So let's just open it. And here's the resulting Excel file. Let me just resize this so you can see everything. I'll just enable editing so I could ex so I could play around with the resulting Excel file. So here we have the first worksheet with the first grid and the second worksheet. Notice how the styling is pretty much reproduced in the Excel file as you would see it in the grid. Now the part that I was telling you before about the hierarchical reproduction and interaction that is the same as the grid itself is wonderfully created using the Excel API. So end users can expand and interact with all the rows just like they would in your web application with your hierarchical grid. So this is a great thing to have in your application, the ability to export interactive hierarchical data. Same thing with the second worksheet. If I go to the second worksheet, notice the styling is pretty much reproduced the same way that it exists in the grid, as well as the hierarchy where you had several rows underneath the parent row. And then this row actually has child members with this schema. So make sure you take advantage of the web Excel exporter that works off of the Infragistics Excel library. And thanks for watching. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.